To activate all of Windows features, head on over to whokeys.com. Purchase a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for as little as $13.12. That is a fraction of retail price. Use offer code IFR25 for 30% off. Copy your key from the user center and paste it here to activate. Alternatively, by clicking here, you can follow their step-by-step -step guide. You can now enjoy all of Windows features. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another BTS. Today, we're gonna to be taking apart the desk PC that we built. Uh, when was that? It was like last week, right? I think so, yeah. How do you think it turned out? It's so cool. Yeah, so... I love it. This one has red tubes. The systems are pretty much the same specs. Uh, one has a 5900X, one has a 5950X, so it's a Ryzen system, given some final love to Ryzen now that the new Intel CPUs are out. We've got an RTX 3090 inside of both systems as well. And these are the pre-blocked Asus EKWB cards. Um, and I mean, they turned out real nice as well. So it's real high-end system. Now we also put these little voice meters in and you can see that every time I talk, the uh, dial's actually moving on them. And these are actually RGB as well. Uh, there's a mode button on the back. So yeah, they could change colors. And these are from a company called DIY Mech. No, me I want, me <laughs> Mech DIY. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, they hooked us up with them and I thought they just looked pretty cool in the desk. So that's why we chucked them in there. Apart from that, we've got two 360mm radiators cooling the systems. And yeah, we just decided to do a funky tube run. We made some tube supports as well because of the tube design we decided to do. And so that's holding up the tubes nice and level on both uh, systems. So we've got three supports over on that side, one support over on this side. And then we've got the clean custom cables, which brings it all together. Apart from that, that's pretty much it. We did make the false floors for the cables, uh, so you didn't see any cable mess or anything like that. And we've also got one D5 pump for each system, pushing everything around. <laughs> Apart from that, that is pretty much the gist of it. So thank you so much for your support, guys. We really appreciate it. What color desk PC would you like to see next? This is the next PC we're taking apart. This is the Be Quiet Dark Base 700 case. It's one of the newer ones that we did a build in a couple weeks ago now, right? Yes. How do you think it turned out? I think it's very cool. The tubes are crazy. So the reason for that is the, um, the Corsair XD7. We wanted to mount it at the front, but there wasn't enough room at the front where the radiator is sitting. So now it's up the top, so now we've got crazy tube routes going everywhere just to make this thing work because we had to mount it up the top there. But um, yeah, that's the Corsair XD7. It's basically a distro plate that takes up three fan slots. And yeah, so that's basically why we've got tubing going everywhere. What do you think of the yellow liquid? I know yellow is yeah. your favorite color. Yellow is my favorite color, so yep. I'm a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, if you're looking close at the RAM, there's one LED light that's staying green can oh, you yeah. see can you see the green on it <laughs> there it is uh, that's a bit random <laughs> yeah yeah i only just noticed that now i wonder if that was in the video or not <laughs> like in the pans and stuff uh we've got the leon lee sl 120 fans in there they've actually got their new al 120 fans out as well and we've also got an rtx 3080 i believe it's the asus strix card and we've also got a, an i9 11900K. Intel now have their new 12th gen CPUs out. So we're gonna be taking this apart and then building with their new 12th gen CPUs. Finally, about time, right? Very exciting. <laughs> yeah, so we can't wait. We've also got some huge news in store. Don't wanna tell you guys yet, but um, Miller and I are very excited. And yeah, we just we just can't wait to you know share it with everyone and um, start the process of whatever it is Ooh. so we'll keep you guys uh <laughs> keep you guys guessing for a bit yes uh, apart from that let's get this thing taken apart and that's that's pretty much it right that's it <laughs> thanks guys appreciate your support Hey guys, <laughs> <laughs> the, 
This build is the Antec Draco 10 case, one of Antec's newer cases, uh, and it is more on the budget side. This case in particular, or this build in particular, we used for our arcade machine, our custom IFR themed arcade machine. It's getting take, taken apart now because we're actually about to move. We're moving houses and then we're going to set up more of a permanent PC and go inside of that arcade machine so we can play all of those old retro games. Inside of here though, to power all of the games on the arcade machine, we ended up going with an MSI uh, GTX 1070. This is the ITX version. Uh, the Aero, yeah, the Aero I believe it is. And it fit nicely in this case and it means that we were able to fit a full custom loop inside for not only the GPU, but the CPU as well. And speaking of the CPU, we have the 10900K inside. Uh, still a great CPU for what we need, especially for arcade gaming. Like, you don't really need much for that. A potato would run that, really. And then we've got 16 gigs of the Trident Z RGB RAM and some custom sleeved cables as well. Uh, all of the water cooling is EK water blocks apart from the GPU block. And, I mean, for the most part, it's kept it nice and cool, especially, I mean, Arcade games don't really require much power, so for what it is, it's doing the job great. And yeah, it's sad to see this little one go, but we're going to make the most of it. We're going to put a better system inside of that arcade machine and bring you guys a video on that very soon. But Amelia, I need to hear your thoughts first. <laughs> I love the green. Yeah. It's very nice. But I, I must admit, I'm very excited to see what you build next the for the one. arcade machine. Yeah, so am I. <laughs> Actually, so it's got like its own dedicated compartment down the bottom of the arcade machine. So we're going to do some crazy stuff in there. Real custom. Use the walls to mount hardware and everything like that. And just have tube runs everywhere. I think it'll look really nice. But yeah, I think that about does it for this build. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. And if you want to check out that custom arcade machine video, go ahead on our channel. Go find it. It was a good one. And uh, I encourage you guys to check it out. Thanks for your support, guys. So, this is the uh, lovely celebrity build that we just finished. And we thought we'd show you guys one last time before it's never seen again. And, uh... Yeah, I mean, we spent a lot of time on this one. How do you think it turned out, Amelia? I think it's so cool. This is awesome. I love it. There's so much detail that we went to. I, I love it. I think it's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so we've, like, I mean, it was a full alien theme. That was the brief. That's what we stuck to. So the whole idea behind it is we've got a spaceship sort of design on the outside with the panels, and the aliens use their acidic drool to get inside and breach the spaceship. And now we've got alien eggs being laid down below. We've got all this alien acidic drool around there to highlight the power supply. Then we've got the acidic green liquid flowing throughout the system. We've got a reservoir on this side and one on the other side. And that's how we sort of brought the whole design together. We had to custom make new panels for the front and the back just to be able to mount everything properly because the way uh, the original panels were designed we weren't able to mount things in places that we really wanted them so there was a lot of panel cutting a lot of custom panels made and then we also cut this one as well to make that shorter so that we could actually put the reservoir at the front now all of the lighting is meant to be green at the moment it's not at the moment though <laughs> as you guys could see but yeah full green build it looks really nice I'm really excited like with how these turned out, your clay work and that. Oh. Amelia made these by the way, Thank guys. Thank you. Amelia yes. made them. So. I tried my best. No, you, did. <laughs> you did well. You did really well. But so I would say, how long do you reckon I spend on this? Maybe two months? Oh yeah, a while. There's about two months of work and design on this. I had to fabricate panels from scratch. So you can imagine how much time and work and labor costs and stuff is involved in a build like this but we're super excited with the end result um, and i hope you guys enjoyed it as well you know we've got this custom sleeve cables full ek water cooling we've got an 11900k cpu inside we've got an rtx 3080 ti with the active uh, backplate cooling this is more for aesthetics because 
Really, only a 3090 probably needs the active um, backplate cooling if you were to choose one, but it looks cool. It does. It looks really nice, so we ended up going with it anyway. And that's pretty much it. Two 360 millimeter radiators to cool this system. Apart from that, what else can we say? That's it's just, we're super happy with how it turned out. Yeah, we think it's <laughs> so awesome. <laughs> we hope you guys are as well. Leave your uh, comments below. I'm keen to see if you guys actually like how this turned out. We spent a lot of time on it. Thanks guys.